Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to talk about the highway network in Jamaica. And we're going to give you an update as to what's going on. So Jamaica plans to build a coastal network right around the island. Meaning that that highway will run along the coast. And then they also plan to build highways going through the middle of the island. So let's talk about the coastal highway. Let's start in Kingston and work our way around. So from Kingston to St. Thomas or Portland, you have the Southern Coastal Highway. Massive road project. It's on the way and it should finish in 2025. We have a four lane super highway from Kingston to Yalos, and then from Yalos to Port Antonio, it's two lanes. Highway quality road, even though it's two lanes. It should have been four, but cost restraints, it's two. Now in Port Antonio, the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project will meet with the Northern Coastal Highway, which is also two lanes from Portland. That highway goes through, right, let's go through the 14 parishes. Kingston and St. Andrew, that's where the Southern Coastal Highway will start. It will go through St. Thomas and go into Port Antonio. And in Portland, which is the capital of Port Antonio, the Southern Coastal Highway will merge with the Northern Coastal Highway. And I really hope they build a proper interchange. But we'll talk about that at another time. So in Portland now, you get on the Northern Coastal Highway, which takes you through Portland, through Portland, through St. Mary, through St. Anne, through Trelawney, through St. James, through Hanover, into Negril in Westmoreland. Massive road project. It's two lanes now, but they're going to increase the road to four lanes, but they're going to do the section from Montego Bay to Ocho Rios first. That project is in, it's planned. They're looking about the financing now, and it should start very soon. Now, as of today, the largest road project on the way, or the largest project in Jamaica right now, it's the Southern Coastal Highway Improvement Project. But when the expansion of the Northern Coastal Highway starts, it's going to be larger and more expensive than the current project going on now. So Jamaica is investing heavily in its highway network. And now in the grill, they're going to build a highway. Highway 2000 is going to go from Negril to St. Elizabeth. It's going to be a toll road running along the coast. And then from St. Elizabeth to Manchester, you're going to have Highway 2000 again, which is all, all anytime you hear the word Highway 2000, that's a toll road. And then in Mandeville or Manchester, it mer it's going to merge with the existing Highway 2000 that's built already. That takes you back into Kingston where you can meet up with the Southern Coastal Highway. Now, that's the Coastal Highway. So the entire island of Jamaica will have a highway running along the coast connecting all 14 parishes. Now, Highway 2000 also goes from Kingston to Ocho Rios. It's the only highway that goes north-south in Jamaica. It's the only one and it's finished. So that highway runs north-south. But Highway 2000 East-West now is going to merge with Highway 2000 North-South at Caymanos. So you're going to be able to drive around the entire island on a highway and then go north-south on the highway without ever coming off. It's a major road infrastructure development program. It's going to take some time. Some of the roads are on the way. Some have to start, but it's, it's, that's the plan. So you can go from Kingston to Ocho Rios. So you can go from Maypen, Mandeville, St. Elizabeth to Ocho Rios via the highway interchange at Caymanos. In other words, Caymanos interchange will connect 
East West Lega Highway to 2000 to the North South Lega, so you never have to come off the highway. And then they plan to have another major interchange in Black River or Hodges, where you can go from St. Elizabeth to Montego Bay via Highway 2000. That road hasn't been built, but no, it's going to go through Mount Pelier into Montego Bay. So they're working on the Mount Pelier to Montego Bay leg of that road now. So some major highway infrastructure is coming to Jamaica. The progress is amazing. You know, so, something I've always admired about these highways, especially this road. They don't wait for a pothole to come to work on the road. It's like they have scheduled maintenance. And they don't just fix a pothole or a section. They, they fix almost, they fix stretches of the road. That is something that's not very common in Jamaica. It's actually non-existent, to be honest. I really admire that about this highway. Mark, it's a toll road enough, so they collect money and some of that money goes into the maintenance of the road. Very good. Now, in Jamaica, why these highways are so important and the government is invested in them? We don't have a train service that runs around the island. We don't have, what you call it now, a domestic airline that goes around the island. So the only way to move around is via the road. Now it's good, very good, that they are investing in these roads because you can get from Kingston to Mandeville now in 40 minutes. That's almost an hour you cut off. You can get from Kingston to Ocherios in 40 minutes on highway quality roads. So it's definitely opening up the island and Kingston is where a third of our population lives. It's a major city and the capital of Jamaica. So, it's a loud car. They actually have a law that cars are not supposed to be that loud. Hi, morning. So it's very important that the roads are fixed so you can move around the island easily and quickly. Very important. So we'll keep you guys updated on these projects. But Jamaica is going to have a first world highway system very soon and it takes roughly five years to build one section so I would say in about we're not going to put a timeline on it but very soon Jamaica the entire all 14 parishes will be connected via highway all right guys thanks for taking the tour with us today remember to like share and subscribe have a good day